hello everyone uh, so this is a character which i created in daz and later i exported it to unreal and i also used to make some more animations in it in unreal so a lot of uh, people actually asked me how actually i did it so i'm trying to create a small video for it like which can help all of you so this is it so this is the character which i created this is currently rendering so let me take it to texture shaded yeah so this is the character which i created and by the way the software is daz so you can have a look at the character i try to give it an indian feel so this is how it looks so for this uh, video i'll be creating a new character a different one and i'll be showing you each and every step which i took from uh, building a character in das to exporting it to unreal and then retargeting it to use mixam animations so let's get started for this i'll uh, close this first of all and then i'll open a new this is the main screen which we receive so i hope you all have actually installed das studio for just to give you a broad idea so we first installed das central and through that we can easily install the das studio we can also install certain bridges such as uh, das to unreal bridge das to blender or das to maya i have installed das to unreal bridge so this is available for free at the das studio store so you can just download it and uh, yeah do the setup and you'll you'll be good to go so this is the first screen which we have and uh, let's create so in the content library so among the people let's create a female character genesis 8 basic female so by default it would have no clothing so i have to censor this and put a blur mark so after that uh, we'll add some clothing to it uh, let's find a nice clothing yep uh, this looks fine so just just to mention here that whenever you add any clothing or an asset to the character you have to select the character and then add the clothing so now we'll be we'll be adding some why is it moving okay no problem so among clothing is done we'll do some hair so what kind of hair should i add Oh, this looks fine yeah so the hair is fine let's, let's add a different texture to the hair sorry for this you have to select the hair and then apply the changes yeah this that looks fine. by the way this looks a little weird uh, here because it's not currently rendered it's just a texture shaded output of the character yeah so now we can so by the way these are the clothings which i have added in for the genesis 8 so we can also use from maybe a genesis 8 male so maybe i can add a prop here oh so these are so these are poses so maybe i can add some clothing from here uh, anything which i like uh, yeah we can add a mask since we all in a pandemic see now when we use a uh, when we use an asset which is not of the current character will be prompt uh, prompted with this uh, prompt so what we can do is uh, we can see what this asset word was originally designed for this was for genesis 8 male so now and uh, we are fitting it for the full body shape now when we do that now it's perfect fit for it 
you can just see this looks perfect let me show you a rendered picture how will it look when it gets rendered by the way if you can uh, hear some fan noise then just pardon me because rendering takes some computing power yeah so this looks pretty good actually let's get back to texture shaded so these are the uh, should, uh, so these are the controls which from which we can move the character here and there we also have certain sliders for each of these so we can uh, we can actually manipulate them and see what what changes to the bring in scaling will scale the character let's reset it okay another thing is you all might be you now confused at how oh, when we usually open a DAS we don't have so much clothing and props in it so how did I actually bring them in here so there's a website free website from which I downloaded all the clothes and the assets so this is the website I'll link it down so that you can have an access to it so for now let's uh, add flip-flops so uh, these are the links to various websites so you may have to create accounts and then download it but uh, the main point is you get them downloaded them uh, in a zip file and then you would be good to go so now i have uh, downloaded them so this is the one so let me extract it yeah so this is the one so now what we have to do is uh, you can use the readme it will say that uh, you have to extract it and somewhere it might be written load the flip or uh, that's how to use it by the way these are the licensed uh, assets so you can use them anywhere you can i actually you can read the licenses i will not suggest to use them anywhere so you, what you need to do is you need to copy the data and the people uh, and then in your uh, c drive i have it in my das 3d applications that's the data as 3d content library and then just paste it so it will automatically merge into the already created folders there and now when we go here inside the people we had it in as mail you just have to uh, refresh now when we did a refresh we could expect those flip flops to be coming here yeah 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 actually they are here so now we need to add the flip flops here to the character so select the character and then double click on the flip flops so originally they were supported for genesis 8 mail and now the full body then it's fine so let's have a look how do they look to me they look pretty fine yeah they're they're fine they look fine yeah actually they look fine so yeah this is it now the character is created now we just have to export it to unreal 